Hey guys, it's Ryan from My Line Boots. Hey guys, it's Dave from Roaming Giraffe. And today we're talking to freelance travel photojournalist Melanie Fonsell. Mel, thanks for joining us today. Tell us a little bit more about the life of a freelance uh, travel writer and journalist. You and I recently were in Thailand, and as I know, you guys just managed to get out just in time before the lockdown. Yes, um, we went to, we travelled to Thailand as part of the tourism um, and media group. Usually how it works for freelancers is that um, they would like a commission from someone. So I did chat to Getaway magazine during our trip. There was a, a global pandemic was declared. Um, so we were travelling during this time which was pretty conflicting for me um, and I wrote about it. I read that piece of yours and I saw really mixed emotions. It must have been quite difficult. You know, you, this is work for you as much as it's travel, it's work for you. Um, and now there's this whole conflict between coming home, when should I come home? With this in mind, Mel, how do you see the future of freelance travel writing and photography changing, both now during the time of COVID and into the future? Yeah, I think freelance journalism is in a very interesting place at the moment. And I think travel journalism, even more so whether you freelance or not, Everyone is struggling. I know, especially since media trips have been cancelled. But it might also be my own advantage being based in South Africa. Um, you know, that might that might become a good thing for me. I think borders are going to change. Um, certainly, there will be a crackdown on who can come in and out of the country. In terms of the the publishing world as well, it's it's a very very interesting time. So I think a lot of May issues will not actually hit the shelves this this year. Now is is a really good chance to um, really emphasize the digital models. An interesting point that you raised there, Mel. Um, we spoke last week to Heather Mason from twosummers.net and she was talking about people pivoting and in this time, really looking at their business models and I think that's exactly what you were saying. So Mel, what is your one key takeaway from the situation that we find ourselves in as freelancers? Even in terms of on a personal level, um, the kinds of stories that we're going to have to be putting out there are also going to have to shift. There's going to be a, a, a real emphasis on responsible tourism moving forward. Mel, thanks for your time. I um, really appreciate your insight. That was our Zoom chat for today. And bye from me, Di. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I was just making that observation. <laughs> okay. You run. <laughs> It'd be actually nice to see real people. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay.